Today we are learning how we use Unity's AR foundation features, its uh, interface for AR Core from Google for Android phones and AR Kit from Apple for the newest iOS devices. And this foundation, it combines all the features so you only write it once and it works on both platforms. So let's get started. We create a new project. I use Unity 2018.25 for this one. And let's call it AR Foundation Bold Tutorial. Click Create Project. So Unity is ready. First thing I want to do, I want to switch my platform to Android so I can build faster directly from the editor. When you're building on iOS, you should switch the platform to iOS. Let's first head over the player settings and we want to change the color space to linear and also deactivate automatic graphic API. Deactivate Vulkan, deactivate multi threaded rendering, and set the company name. Also make sure the lowest API level for Android is 7.0. That's important. Then deactivate x86 uh, and also deactivate Android TV. In XR settings, we don't want to use AR Core support. If you are developing only for AR Core, then you would use these options, but we want to use AR Foundation, so we let this unchecked. Let's save the scene first. Let's call it AR. And now we are ready to import the AR Foundation. Let's go to the package manager that comes with Unity 2018. Click on all packages and for my purpose I just want the AR Core XR plugin and the AR Foundation. When you are developing for both platforms you should import both of these plugins. After all the AR Foundation packages are imported, we create a little scene setup. So we go under XR and first we want to create an AR session and we want to create an XR session origin. This is actually our camera. So we delete our main camera and use this one. On the session origin, we also want to add a plane manager. And we want to add the AR Point Cloud Manager. They both want a prefab, but we can easily create one. Create default point cloud and create default plane. Let's create a prefab folder and create the prefabs. After this is done, we can delete delete them from the hierarchy and add them into our manager. Save the scene and now we are ready to import Bolt. So I go to the asset store, download Bolt. Let's run the setup. I'm using the programmer naming. Hit generate inspectors and in the assembly options, we want to add XR Foundation and XR Extensions. In the type options, we also need RR Ray Cast Hit and Pose. Okay, let's hit Generate. Let's create a flow machine on the AR Session Manager. Create a new macro. 
let's call it AR Manager. Open the graph. So now at first we want to get a point on one of these generated planes from DRR Foundation. When you're seeing here, these planes, they are getting automatically generated with the plane prefab and we want to detect the point where we tap on the screen to place an object or to set the position of an object. Let's do this. First, we want to know if there's a touch. So we search for in, for input, touch, C for input touch count. And we get the count and we make a greater zero and pack that all in a branch. So now if our touch input is greater than zero, so one or more fingers, the branch is triggering true. When our touch is true, we also want to know where this touch was. So I drag the true state and search for in touch index. With index zero, I'm just getting the first touch. So if we are using only one finger and from this on, we easily can drag the touch variable and get its position. And now we come to the interesting part. For array cast uh, with RR foundation, we need a little special ray cast. The ray cast is based on the AR session origin. And I just drag the AR session origin into the graph. Now we can get all the functions here. I want the Raycast screen point. Get them here. And first I want for trackable type mask, set it only to the plane with polygons. The screen point is of course our touch point. And now we need a list. And this one we have to create before we can get an object variable. And let's call it S hits and also create it on the object. And now we need a specific list. When we look in the documentation, we need this list AR raycast hit. But when we look for it, Cast hit, we only got the pose, but that's not what we need. We need the list. So we have to disable AOT safe mode for this one. So disable this in the Ludic settings. And now it's still not here when I search again. I don't get the list. So important thing is let's save the scene and hit play. Okay, we exited and now we search for AR Raycast and now we have here the AR Raycast hit list. Perfect. Let's make a branch here to test if the result was true or false. When it's true, we want to instantiate something. So we go to instantiate object and for the object we take another object variable. Let's call this to spawn and create here this object variable for the position and uh, rotation. Now it gets interesting because now we're going to use this, the content from this AR Raycast hit list. And because it's a list, we have to go to collections list, get list item. The only item in the list from this raycast and this will be our hit point. We need this RR ray cast pose for it. So let's take that and get the pose. From the pose zone, we can just drag it out, pose and here we have pretty easy position. 
can set this and also the rot create a cube. Let's make it half the size and create a prefab out of him. Let's call him spawn and drag it into the project to build a prefab from it. Let's delete it from the scene and add it to our variable like this. The only thing that's now a problem is it's gonna spawn all the time new cubes and probably we don't want that. So let's create a null check and when it's null it's gonna do the instantiate and when it's not null we ask for the variable spawned. And this variable we gonna set after the instantiate. So we create object, set object variable, spawned, and set this, and set the instantiated object. Anything left we have to do is to set the spawned variable in the inspector. Let's add it here and keep it as null because for the first cycle it has to be null to instantiate our prefab and after that we gonna just use a, a set position so transform position set and we are using again the post position and this time we also use the spawned variable. So that's all you need to know for a simple spawning and positioning system with AR Foundation. Let's see if it works and build it. Well, and of course it's not working because I accidentally forgot to change this to an update event. One frequent request is to scale the content because on, in AR you cannot just scale your object, they will drift around and it doesn't look good. First thing I want to do is adding a canvas with a slider. So it's for easy input, so it's that add the slider here, go into 2D mode, and I just want to anchor it, pull it a little bit up, and make it a little bit smaller. Now we have to define it as a variable, so let's call it scale slider, and assign it as a game object. Back in our graph, let's drag this in here. Got a full screen, and now we can add a new event on slider value change. Assign the slider, and now we can set a local scale. So let's search for translation scale local. Let's set this scale. And we also want to create a new vector free with this uh, slider value for all the axes. So, as I told you, we cannot just uh, set the scale from our spawned object, we have to scale our session origin or our game object with the camera child, this is the one we have to scale. And the scale, you can see it as a factor with a scale from one, it's one meter in real world, and with a scale of 10, it's 10 centimeters long. Set our slider a minimum value from one and a maximum value of 10. So here now it's inversed, so one, is the 
biggest scale and 10 is the smallest scale. And now we need one little function and that is housed on our AR session origin. So let's drag this guy in and let's choose make content appear at position. So let's connect them and for the content we use our spawn object and for the position we take the position of our spawn object. So let's build it. So and this is all for the first step with RR foundation.